Hi everyone, I'm really excited to share our three pub soups with you today. We're gonna get started with split pea soup. It is chock full of good, healthy ingredients. Peas actually have a ton of protein in them. So we've got three carrots diced, three stalks of celery diced, two full onions diced, which seems like a lot of onions, but once they cook down, you can't really taste it. It's not super oniony. We did this by hand this time, but in the next soup, we'll show you how you can save some time chopping in your Vitamix. So just like most soups start, you're gonna saute these three veggies. We use some vegan butter here just because we wanted that rich, creamy flavor. Um, if you're whole food plant-based, you can throw these right on the pan and saute with nothing. So saute for about five minutes and then we're gonna add in our peas. Two cups of dried peas rinsed. Dried peas seem like a hard ingredient to find, but any grocery store that has bulk bins will have dried peas. You'll often find them close to the lentils. Then we're gonna use two quarts of veggie broth and then we're gonna use some classic seasoning here. We've got just one teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of salt, and some cracks of fresh pepper. And and then also two bay leaves. Make sure though to take them out. At the end, you don't wanna eat a bay leaf. The next step is to cover and let these simmer for one hour. Remember that these are dried peas and so it is gonna take quite a while for them to cook through. We really liked the flavor and the texture after one hour. They still had a little bit of a chewy texture. If you're used to a more soft pea in your split pea soup, go ahead and cook it a little bit longer, but we really liked it that way. The next step is where the Vitamix comes into play, which is that we're gonna take about a third of our pot full of soup and we're gonna blend it on a low level, mid-level, about a level five. And only for a few seconds, we're just looking for a variance in texture here. A lot of soups have several different textures, which is what makes them taste so good. So take a third out, blend for a few seconds, add it back into your pot and stir it up and that should be the correct consistency for you. If you want even less, chewy pea parts in your soup, just go ahead and blend up more of it. Biggest trick for this soup to make it taste like a pub style soup is to give it that smoky flavor that you're used to having. Split pea soup usually has chunks of ham. So we use smoke house almonds and I just threw them in our eight ounce uh, blender container and uh, what's blitzed it for a minute, like blitzed them up. You can also just use the back of a, of a chef's knife to smash these up, but this is really what gave this soup its special flavor. We serve this soup to Lenny's mom, to our toddler, and to my best friend who was visiting, and all three of them loved it. It is really good, it's filling, it's flavorful, and it's chock full of protein and healthy veggies. It's perfect. It's perfect. That melts my heart. The next one we're gonna show you is beef and barley soup. We're using our Vitamix to cut down on prep time here. It's not necessarily one that you make in the Vitamix, but that you are prepping in the Vitamix. We're using three carrots, about six to eight ribs of celery, one red bell pepper, and one onion. And we're gonna use the same chopping method for all four of these vegetables in our Vitamix, which is to add them to the container on a low speed and use your tamper to push the ingredients into the blade. You're gonna saute these four ingredients for about five minutes. I used uh, olive oil in this particular recipe because it's a broth-based soup, not a creamy-based soup. Again, skip the oil if you're whole food plant-based. We're using simple spices again, one teaspoon of salt, a couple of cracks of pepper, two teaspoons of thyme in this one because that's one of the main flavors in here. Two bay leaves, again, if you don't have bay leaves, skip them. And then the Worcestershire sauce, we're using two teaspoons. We found Amy's to be plant-based and then two tablespoons of red wine. Can of diced tomatoes, which is about 14 ounces. And then the ingredient that probably is the hardest to find, plant-based beef. We found Gardein in the freezer section and we're just using one nine ounce bag. We're using two quarts of veggie broth again and then two thirds of a cup of pearled barley. They were actually right next to the peas so pick them both up. You can make both these pub soups in a weekend. And then we're going to put it on medium heat. Just kidding. We have to add parsley. Parsley is what makes this soup taste old world, homemade, the way that you would get it served if you were at a bar in Ireland. It, the parsley is uh, like clutch here. So if you have access to fresh parsley, use it. I just snipped a little over the pot. I don't have a precise measurement for you here. It's 
about an eighth of a cup if you are someone that really, really needs to measure. Now we're gonna put it on medium heat. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna start checking after about 30 minutes. You want it to be a little bit chewy, but cooked through. So you can either serve it like this and you'll see it has like a beautiful vegetable broth base to it. So it's a veggie soup, kind of like a minestrone look, or you can take it up to the next level which is something that you'll notice that if you order it in a restaurant, soups are usually varying in texture. So we took again about a third of, a, of the pot full of soup and we blended on a low level. We made sure not to blend any of the beef chunks because that just felt wasteful to us. And that is really just to give you that varying texture. So you'll see that it looks kind of creamy and more hearty that way. This one we think is best served with a crusty piece of bread. For some reason, when I served Lenny this soup, with his toasty bread, I also really wanted to crack open a dark beer for him. It felt like if he was sitting at a pub and he ordered this soup that he should have a dark beer with it. It was 11 a.m. so he did not drink it, but I feel like you should serve this for dinner with a dark beer. Such a good and filling delicious soup. The last one that we wanna show you is our broccoli cheese soup. We've had this recipe up on our website for a while now and it is very popular. It uses actually our queso recipe as the base for this cheesy, delicious plant-based soup. The first step is to chop a head of broccoli. You're gonna wanna steam that broccoli. We have a very makeshift way of using a metal colander and a pot with a lid, whatever. Steam your broccoli however you want. Then you're gonna make the base of your soup here. So it's one cup of almond milk, a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast, which is one of those ingredients that you may not have at home, but that you should add to your pantry because so many plant-based recipes use it to give you kind of a cheesy flavor. A half a cup of raw almonds, a half a cup of raw cashews, one whole red bell pepper, de-seed it first, two teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and a few cracks of crushed red pepper, depending on how spicy you like things. I know that sounds like a lot of ingredients, but a lot of those are pantry items that you should have on hand. Put all of those ingredients into your Vitamix and ramp from variable speed one to 10, and then you're gonna use either the soup preset, if you have the preset soup button on your Vitamix, otherwise you're gonna blend for four to five minutes. You want this to be hot and you want it to be thick. So check for those two things, then you'll know that it's done. Also grab a tortilla chip and taste this plain because it's amazing. But if you're gonna take the extra step and turn it into soup, we're gonna add a cup of vegetable broth, half a block of tofu, about 210 grams, any kind of tofu here. And then a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So add all those ingredients, the broth, the nutmeg, and the tofu, and you're gonna blend on high for another two minutes. Then you're gonna add in that steamed and chopped broccoli. You want chunks of broccoli in your soup for sure. You do not want this to be a light green gross soup. You want chunks of delicious broccoli in an orange colored soup. So you're gonna pulse on variable speed four about five times, making sure to keep some of that texture. And then go ahead and pour it right into the bowl. Make this cheesy broccoli soup, make our other delicious pub soups, and let us know what other soups you'd like for us to give a try. We're happy to veganize some of these classics for you. Just leave a message in the comments. One of the tricks that we've found with making these plant-based recipes is to not tell everyone exactly what's in it, especially with a soup. You can really hide a lot of ingredients. We've got tofu in one, we've got nuts in one. Um, so don't tell people what's in it. Just tell them it's delicious, it's flavorful, it's filling, and they will believe you and they will like it. And that's what we're looking for. So guys, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, uh, hit that like button, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.